Today, we're going to address a common fear that a lot of people have. What is it? Canning. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sutton's Days. If you're new here, my name is Lisa, and we are all about pantry preparedness with a heavy lean on canning because I love having good quality, real food, shelf-stable food available to me and my family. And canning is one way that I do that. It's also a way that I save money. It's a way that instead of spending $5 a pound for chicken, I spend 99 cents and it's good for years. So let's talk about why there's fear over canning and what we can do about it. Fear of canning is actually pretty prevalent, but it's not as scary as it may seem. So here are some of the top reasons that people are afraid of canning and why you shouldn't be. Number one is fear of botulism. It's a rare but serious illness that is caused by a toxin in bacteria. Most of the time, you don't see a lot of reports on it. You know, there's never any news on it. Um, and on the CDC, they, I believe they still show a number of cases, but it's seriously underreported. Why is it underreported? Because most of the time, uh, botulism poisoning presents as a stroke. How do you avoid this? Can with proper canning procedures, safe canning procedures, tested proven recipes, not Uncle Joe's or the neighbors or flip that jar upside down, it'll be fine. Okay. That's how you avoid it. If you do it properly, when you know better, you do better. We know better. We do better. We teach better. So that is the number one fear. And if you trust the process and follow the process, then you have nothing to fear. The number two reason is a uh, fear of spoiled food. So I know it's kind of counterintuitive, right? We're canning to preserve it, but people think that it might get spoiled. So the number one way again to prevent this from happening is to can it properly. Follow the safe and trusted process that is provided by the colleges, the extension services, the companies, because, uh, they've done their homework and they know best. So if you follow those, then you're not gonna to have to worry about it going bad. At that point, it's absolutely safe to consume and typically for quite a few years. So I'm always asked, how long does it last once you can it? Well, I'll remind you that it's not there to look at. It is there to consume. So with that being said, it's still good for quite a few years. Another great fear that people have is that they think that the process, the procedures are complex and they're not, they're not difficult. Um, and sometimes it takes just a deep breath to sit down and go, this is what I do. This is what I do. This is what I do. Even rewriting it. Um, and my perfect example for this is some of the canning processes for tomatoes or some of the canning processes for beans. Let's say that they are not real big on paragraphs when it comes to the instructions for canning beans. So it can be kind of confusing doing the soap method versus the quick soap method, and it's very easy to mix up. So sometimes it's just a matter of finding a video, I know somebody who knows somebody, um, or reaching out to somebody that you know, or reaching out to the Extension Service, the National Center themselves, and saying, can you please explain this? Because sometimes it's a little difficult to understand. Don't be afraid to ask. The only stupid question is the one that you didn't ask. That's a fact. Another huge fear, and I, I get this, right? It's a fear of wasting time and money. Because, especially in today's economy, food costs so much. It just, it's ridiculous. So, if I don't do it right, if I mess something up, not only have I wasted a whole bunch of time, but oh my gosh, look at all that money. Okay. Okay. I have a checklist that's linked down below. It's a free download. It's a direct download. So it will automatically download to wherever your device default downloads to. Okay. I can't help you with that part, but it's a checklist and it will walk you through the steps for canning the things that you don't want to forget, like venting for 10 minutes. You must vent for 10 minutes. Okay. Um, you know, things like that, letting it come down to pressure naturally, follow the process trust the process and you will do great. There will be no wasted time. There will be no wasted money. Things happen. They even happen to me. I show them on video sometimes. Okay. But I got, I got messages constantly 
uh, over the last few months going, oh my gosh, okay, I fell asleep. I fell asleep while it was canning. Now what do I do? Or they didn't run the entire time. Can I just start over again? No, you can't. Um, or, you know, can I reprocess this? Or what should I do now because this happened? It happens. Life happens. Nothing that you do, I guarantee you, nothing that you do is done perfectly. So don't be afraid of making mistakes. When you're just starting out learning to can, do the cheap things. Do the Dollar General $2 bag of beans, you know. Do the inexpensive stuff. You don't jump in going, I'm going to can beef brisket. No, can some cheap beans, okay? Do a few practice runs with just water in the jars. It won't hurt anything. It makes you more comfortable with it. And hey, you've got some jars of water or some jars of beans, and you've learned a few things. Because if you're like me, sometimes you will look at a process, right? And you will overthink it to the extent that it has become something monumental. Like all of a sudden you went from the third grade to needing a master's degree. And that's not the case. It's just that it's a lot of information. You're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. You want to get it right. You don't want to waste the money. You don't want to waste the time. You don't want to waste the food, right? So you just get uh, all locked up. Take a deep breath. Drop those shoulders, okay? And read through it slowly reach out to someone that can help. You guys know I answer emails and DMs all day, every day, all week, all month, all year. So feel free to reach out to me. I am happy to help. I am always happy to help. You are not going to waste time or money if you just trust the process. Not quite as often there is a fear of loss of nutritional value. That's, that's not something to worry about. Okay. Um, you are going to lose a minute amount of nutritional value when you cook it. And essentially when you're pressure canning it, that's all you're doing is you're cooking it. You're pre-cooking it in a manner that keeps it shelf stable. You can open a jar, grab a fork and go to town. Okay. So you're not losing nutritional value. You are doing absolutely fantastic and you are ensuring that that nutritional value is there for you in the future, probably at a better price. Don't let your fear of canning discourage you from taking the step to doing this amazing process. Learning the joy of preserving your own food with the right knowledge and the right process and a little bit of time, you too can experience having the stability of a well-stocked pantry. Take your time, practice, take a deep breath, ask questions, and you can learn the amazing feeling of security and pride when you can put food up on your shelf that you created that doesn't have all of those unpronounceable, is that a word? Unpronounceable uh, ingredients in it, right? Real honest to goodness food. It's what we don't have enough of anymore. And this is how we're going to take back control and not have to be on 400 different medications. We're going to consume real food, not bug burgers. Okay. Learn how to can. Don't be afraid of it. I am quoted constantly. If you hear any of my videos on this, people say, I'm afraid of canning. Your car is more dangerous than your canner. You can do this. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section down below. And until next time, everybody be safe and stack it to the rafters.